In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get an object to follow a borderline. So when something has a complicated path to follow, you can just draw it out, rather than making all those changes along the timeline yourself. So to get started, of course, we got to open up Synfig. So we go to the menu, go to Graphics, and then go down to Synfig Studio and click on that. Okay, so let's go through our regular steps. Uh, first, hold down Control shift z and bring the screen into its best fit view. All right, and then let's save this, even though we haven't started. So go to File and click on Save. Make sure you're in your folder. If you're not sure how to get to your folder, it is clicking on the desktop, followed by Student folder, followed by your name, followed by the Synfig folder. And that's where you want to save to. And uh, let's give this one the name Magic Arrow. And then just click Save. In this tutorial, I'm going to draw the bare minimum that I have to in order to teach us a new skill. Uh, so let's just start by clicking on the Rectangle tool. Let's uh, select the color. As you already see, I can open this up. But you can click on here to select the color, and then just select black. Make sure that your layer type is just a simple rectangle. So you don't want anything else quick. Just make sure the simple rectangle is selected. Okay, and then let's just color the whole background in black. Okay, so this tool might be new, uh, but the polygon tool, go ahead and click on that. For what we're going to draw with the polygon, it's going to be white, so click on white, and again, we just need the simple one, so this first one selected, and that's the only one. Okay, so over here, um, I'll just do it in the center, draw, or put the dots out, so polygons work just by clicking the different points where you want the lines to go. So I am clicking, uh, it's like a connected dots game where you get to produce the dots and the computer does the connecting. So put your dots in such an order so when you come back and click on the dot you started with, you've made an arrow. Do that please. Okay, our background is going to get in the way a little bit. So I just want you to click on this checkbox. That'll turn it off, make it invisible. Okay, now we're going to go get another tool that you may not have used yet. And this draw tool. You'll find this draw tool is really useful. So it's great to get this one introduced. So click on that, the draw tool. Now I'm going to select black. And this is the type you want here. You only want the outline. Don't have both of these selected, just the outline. So select that layer. Okay, so what we're drawing here is the path we want this arrow to follow. So let's say it's coming up this way. It does a loop, and then it does like a triangle, and then another loop, and then it hits its target over there. So that's the crazy line I'm going to draw. I want you to draw in your crazy line now. But don't make it too messy and don't make it scribbly. Just crazy. Okay, so now I want you to select the polygon that is your arrow. Just click beside it so it's selected, and then go down and click on the folder that will encapsulate it. Name that encapsulated uh, folder, just arrow, and hit enter. Now we need to go inside this arrow and click on the polygon. So do that please. Now right click on the polygon and go to new layer then go down to transform and select rotate. So new layer, transform, rotate. Do that please. All right, so now we have everything we need but we have to get off of that drawing tool so come up here and click on the transform tool. Alright, so now there's four steps to making the association we want. Step number one, click on the encapsulated arrow. Do that. Step number two, we need to associate the uh, uh, arrow with the position of this thing. So we're going to click on the position node. Do that. Now, control should still be held down on the keyboard. We want to also associate the rotate. So click beside the rotate with the rotation node. So click on the rotation node. Do those two steps. 
Okay, so now that you have the arrow associated with the position and the rotation associated with the rotation node, we can say with but tell the computer by holding down control that we want those to be connected to this drawing. So we're going to click on this drawing. So do that now. Okay, so now that we've got this associated with position, this associated with the rotation, and we're telling it to go to this drawing, we just need to tell it where to start on the drawing. So we go over here to the beginning of the drawing, we right click, and we go down to where it says link to spline and click on that. And here's what you should see. The arrow goes to the front of that spline, right where we wanted it to. Uh, let's turn on our background rectangle. Do that, please. All right, and now we're ready for animation. So find the little green guy, click on him so it becomes a little red guy. And let's say we want it to go through this first loop pretty fast. Well, let's then click on a very short period of time passing. So we'll go click on uh, the 24th frame. Then to move our arrow, we have to click on the whole encapsulation. So just click on the arrow encapsulation. And that will give us uh, this little green dot we're going to move it by. And you're going to notice when you move that green dot, it actually moves along the line. So don't try and pull it off. Just let it do what it wants to do. And let's move it down there to the bottom. Do that, please. Okay, so let's give it a test. We'll seek to the beginning. We'll play. And then very quickly, it follows through that loop. So if yours performed any differently, call your instructor over for a little help. Okay, for this next bit, it's going to do it a little, a little slower. So let's click on the 48th frame, but we're not going to go as far. We're just going to go to the top. So click there, please. All right. So let's just bring it to the top. And we'll tip it over. Okay, there. So do that. Now, you just got to pick out the times you want yourself for the rest of this. You've got it figured out. So just space it out with the rest of your movements so that somehow at the end you are at the end of the line. And that's it. Okay, do those last two things. Okay, let's test it out. And what you should have is an arrow that follows this path at the speeds you've kind of set by setting your waypoints and completes at the end of the line. Uh, if it didn't perform this way, get your instructor to call over. I just have a couple more things before we end the video. Okay, so to hide this outline, so uh, we will just lower it so that it's below the background. And that way you can play your video and the arrow just looks like it's traveling on its own and it doesn't give away the fact that it has a path. So I'm just going to have you do one quick thing here before we save it. And that is I want you to take the path and lower it by clicking on the down arrow after you've selected the path. So do that, please. So your step here is to keep in mind this new technique you learned anytime you need to make an animation where a character follows a complicated path. Uh, so you don't have to move it manually for all those different changes. Okay, so just go to File and Save to make sure that your completed work is not going to be lost. Okay, so a little recap. What was included in this lesson? Well, we introduced you to the Polygon tool, and we introduced you to the Draw tool. But the real lesson was all about this animation and the eight steps of following a path. So first, we had to draw a path. We did it with the Draw tool, but we could have done it with any tool that was set to just a border layer. Then, we encapsulated the object. We used an arrow that uh, we were drawing uh, with a rotation arrow rotation layer. So if we had a picture of a ladybug we wanted to follow a path, we would have encapsulated that in its own layer and then added a rotation layer into that encapsulation. Then we went through the process of clicking what we had to click to associate and everything. And that's the trickiest thing to remember, but it is first you click on the encapsulated folder, then you hold down control and click on the green position node. You keep holding down control, click on rotate, hold control still, and then for rotate you click to associate the blue rotation node. Then you click on uh, the path name, the path layer, in the layers uh, column on the right, and then you click on the path that you drew where you want it to start. So that's it. It was a short tutorial, but there is a lot to remember in it. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.